In this video, we'll take some time to take a look at the VSP viewer. And really, this will be an overview or an introduction to the viewer itself, rather than an in-depth discussion of all of the controls, because this is actually kind of a complex piece of kit. Um, so I launched Viewer by clicking this button. It brings up this window where you can visualize a VSP Arrow solution. And so one of the things that you'll likely do first is turn on your pressures. So under the Arrow tab, you choose Pressures, and that gives you your pressure visualization. In this case, because it's VLM, it's your Delta CP on the vehicle. So now we're at our original alpha of 1. We can bump it up to that 5.5 or 10 for that run that we did. And you can see that the pressure solution is changing as we iterate through. These double arrows just step through more quickly. If you happen to have many, many solutions, you can jump ahead by 10. Other options that we have available here in the arrow tab is to turn on the trailing wakes. So that helps you look at the wake behavior. And it just uh, for each of these lines, that's an, attacked, uh, an attached wake to the trailing edge of a lifting surface here in VLM mode. Um, the other things that you can do, you can turn on your run label and even a contour legend. So this is helpful if you're trying to output some of this information for a publication or a document. It helps you see what the values actually are. And uh, v the VSP viewer is actually a very handy way to diagnose an arrow solution. So if you come in and you see some really jagged or really bright uh, pieces here somewhere in your model, or you look at the contour and find that either your maximum or your minimum delta CPs are extremely high, uh, sometimes on the orders of hundreds, uh, it tells you something has gone horribly wrong on one of those nodes. And so if you isolate the contours, it will help you identify where that is tells you where to go back into your model and fix that problem. For now, we can go ahead and turn that stuff off. Note that you have standard views where you can adjust how to look at these components. We can go ahead and reset to top and zoom in again. And note that I'm just using the same controls as the VSP window. I'm clicking and dragging left uh, to orbit, right click and drag to pan, middle click or control click to zoom. Um, same type of controls here. Other controls that we have available to us on the options menu is to set the contour levels. We can also change the function type. So right now we're on a per try. We can set that to a smooth function shading. So you get uh, a nice smooth distribution of these colors. You can also look at things like the line contours if you're more interested in visualizing that way. And so there are lots of things that you can use to try and identify problem areas or take a look at your solution or um, take snapshots and compare one solution to another based on your vehicle configuration. There are lots of other more advanced controls here in VSP Viewer that we'll be able to cover uh, as needed as topic videos when you are talking about those topics. So like, we're not going to cover anything about finite element in this one right now. It's, it's way too in the weeds. Um, but that should give you a bit of an overview to VSP Viewer and demonstrate a bit about how you can go in and diagnose an aerodynamic solution.